My work is focused on the human being, his relationship to himself and to the world around him. It's a kind of exorcism because humanity and its future make me a bit anxious. Painting is my favorite mode of expression, but inspiration and circumstances lead me wherever I want in total freedom. Depending on the themes I deal with, I like to change mediums. It is a perpetual renewal which opens a large field of possibilities. I am quite provocative and I like to raise questions and awareness through my work. I am also patient and persistent and when I don't know how to work with the material, I search and question myself until I get the result I want. This is what happened with my work on plastic. I improvised a lot before figuring out. I patiently accumulated all this non-recyclable plastic because I wanted to engage the public to this pollution that we export to the whole planet. I used colored plastics to make the Pretty Plastic People series. The sculptures are cheerful and colorful to show the desire to consume that these packages are intended to arouse. In the other hand, it shows the casualness of some people in front of this problem. A kind of voluntary enchantment of the manufacturers to make people forget the ecological disaster which hides behind. This work also highlights the ecological devastating fashion industry. For the faces of the backwashes, I prefer translucent plastics. They allow me to better suggest the work of the waves on this human mask that the oceans are supposed to reject in my imagination. When making the tunnel, I combine these two approaches with a dense wave of plastic to evoke the continent floating on the waters. And I invite people to swim across it, stirring up seaweed and plastic tentacles to meet the human being who is drowning in it like other living species. the hope that at the end of the crossing, awareness will come.